Yo, what's up YouTube and welcome to my 2021 Formula One livery tier list. Now, I just tried to record this video before and I had the wrong microphone in as the input. No. Oh. Oh. My. So yeah, that was a waste of 25 minutes, but here we go, round number two. Now, I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible, uh, because obviously, uh, for you guys who watch my streams, you would know that I pretty much watch most of the car reveals, team launches, and stuff like that live on stream when they happen. And yes, yeah, so you've probably heard most of my thoughts, but some of my opinions have changed on the cars. Now that we've been able to see them out on track, it's been two weeks since the reveals, a week since testing. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a tier list for all the liveries. We're going to be looking at a video of them out on track, as well as some pictures, and then talking about it real quick, and then, uh, yeah, chucking them on a tier list. so uh let's get right into it all right so starting with the aston martin now a lot of people don't like the sewer green but i personally love it uh, i feel like i'm not seeing this color on f1 before uh it just suits the brand so well i absolutely love it that nice glossy green i feel like the sponsor the sponsor placements are just perfect now this watermelony ready pink i don't mind it but i would have preferred that uh this this pinky uh no this lime yellowy green now it, it is a bit of a pissy color but i would have probably preferred that over the watermelon i, I think it would have suited really nice on the car but nonetheless i do like the pink but i do think the lime would have made it better i don't know the sponsor placement so nice it just suits the branding so well i love that green so yeah for me uh the aston martin goes in the into the st i think it's it's one of the it's one of the greatest liveries on the grid this season there's not much wrong with it at all you know maybe it's the hype but for me like from a technical standpoint i just think it suits the brand so well and that that nice pink and oh it, it's it's just so nice moving on now to alpine another new team on the grid fuck man per almost a perfect car uh I, like you know new team new brand uh, in in formula one and it just th that that nice light pearlescent blue like i feel like i haven't seen that blue in f1 before and then on top of that it's nice it's pearlescent like it changes its color depending on the lighting like i feel like we haven't had that in f1 before as far as i'm aware yeah i mean going over the livery i, I mean it obviously matches the french feel behind the team i, I do feel like they could have maybe done more of the wing, the front wing and the rear wing but then again like it, it puts your eyes on where the main focus which is that nice pearlescent blue i love the french flag up here um the onboard is it is amazing i mean this hair is just incorporated so nicely i feel yeah again another another top livery on the grid this season uh, and for me, it is better than the Aston Martin. As much as I love the Aston Martin, the green, I just feel like the design on the Alpine is just so, it, it's just so much better. I just feel like, yeah, I mean, a, as you'll see as the video goes on, there's a lot of video, uh, a lot of uh, liveries in the, in the top half of this tier list because I just think teams have done really well this season. But yeah, the Alpine absolutely killed it, you know. Just something fresh, but also so nice looking. All right. Moving on to Red Bull. Now, obviously, Red Bull hasn't changed their livery in like four or five years. But for me, if you watch my streams, you'll know that the Red Bull is my favorite livery of all time. I think from a brand standpoint, you know, you look at it and you know it's a Red Bull. It's just so nice. That dark blue, almost black with the Red Bull up here. Uh, now, obviously, Honda on the rear wing now instead of Aston Martin. I think I preferred Aston Martin, but the Honda still looks really, really good. Yeah, I mean, they haven't changed the livery in a few years. But for me, I, I as far as I'm aware from all the liveries I've seen, the Red Bull for me is the greatest livery of all time in F1 for me, in my opinion. Opinion. so even though it's it's been in the sport for five years the livery from a technical standpoint i just i love it you look at it you know it's a red bull fucking oh this is so nice it's so oh i i love it now it's obviously going to go in s tier because it is one of my favorite well it's probably my favorite livery of all time um but because it's it you know it's not as fresh you know it's been in the sport for five years it's not as hype as these two it i, I don't think i can put it higher than these two but yeah i, I do think it's um the best livery of all time for me personally but yeah obviously the, the hype from these two and and just how nice looking they are how fresh they are yeah it, it's great i mean again <laughs> to start it off three liveries in, in s tier it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy how well the teams have done this season with with their liveries all right next up we've got mercedes now they've obviously gone with a black livery again this season i really wish they went with gray and kept that black livery as a one-off special livery for last season you know last season was huge for the black lives and matter stuff uh, along with lewis hamilton getting seven time uh being becoming the seven time world champion 
Uh, I really wish they just kept it a special livery. But nonetheless, uh, the livery itself, I really, really like. I much prefer the black livery this season than last season. For me, I feel like the stars back here were messy last season, and I, I prefer the sticker bomb. In the, in the renders, the sticker bomb doesn't look good, but IRL, oh my god, it's so nice. Now, my biggest concern with this car in the renders was how bright the red was. I, I really like the, the, the whiny dark red that they had on Lush's car. But then the car rolled out testing and it had that dark red. So yeah, I really, really, really like this livery. I feel like they could have improved in some areas. I mean, I, I know a lot of people talking about the front wing. I really like this, but I feel it's a bit plain down here. I think the numbers, although it looks cool from a broadcast standpoint, you can't see the numbers. Uh, and I don't think the halo is as good as last season. I love the, what is it? Like turquoise, cyan, you know, rim and then the the stripe like yeah absolutely love this livery i love the black uh, i do think they should have gone gray though uh, and i think there's a lot of things they could have improved on but nonetheless for me it's going to go in a tier i don't think it's on the same level as these three liveries but it's definitely up there very very nice looking livery for mercedes again this season all right <laughs> Moving on to Williams. Now, if you saw my reaction on my stream when this first came out, I was disgusted. This thing... Uh, I, I don't know what went through their mind when making this livery. I mean, the only good thing about this car is the front wing in real life. It, that's it. That looks... That doesn't look too bad at all. Other than that, there's nothing redeeming about this Williams. The renders absolutely suck. I don't know what they did. It's almost like they put, they sent them to Codemasters, put them in the F1 game, had this whack-ass lighting. But yeah, I mean, the best part about this livery is the front wing, and even that's pretty average. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. This shit's so wet. They put the Lavaza sponsor inside, like, a crevice, so you can't even, like, see it on some angles. Same with the number. I don't know. I don't know what was going on at Williams' mind. I mean, like, this shit here is so ugly. I mean, the onboard doesn't look too bad, but, like, I don't know everything. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, just looking at the colors, there's one white, two yellowy orange. Then you've got one blue, two blue, three blue, and then you've got black. Like, there's literally six colors on this car. Wait, five, six, six colors on this car. How does that even happen? How does they even have- who thought it'd be a smart idea to put six different colors on this car? Wait, what, what's Russell got to say? I like it. No, you don't. No, you don't. It, it- this- man, I don't know. I- I get they're trying to incorporate old Williams with new Williams, but I can barely see old Williams, and the old part of Williams on the car is pretty average, and the new part is shockingly bad. Yeah, I mean, it was like a one to a two for me when it when when I saw the renders, and then when I saw it out on track, it went from to a, like a two or a three. Uh, yeah, for me, this livery is definitely at the bottom of the list. I mean, there's nothing really good about it, nothing really appealing, and the and the decent parts aren't even that great. So yeah, for me, right at the bottom of the barrel in D. Like I said, I pre-record, I, I had to redo this video because uh, I had the wrong microphone on last time. So last time I put it in C, and then halfway through the video, I was like, fuck it, we've got to make another category and put in D. So that's how much I realized it's just not on the level as these other cars you'll see in a minute. Um, anyways, moving on, Alpha Tauri. Now, when this first released, my reaction to it was was not good. I, I, I do not know why Alpha Tauri went away from predominantly white for their branding and went more towards the, the dark blue prominent but yeah i don't know what's happening here you've got this whack line that like flicks up back here then you've got the the white aero stuff here the white hubcaps oh i don't know what's happening why is it matte why don't they make it glossy or something i mean from the front it's it's very blue dominant another photo the back doesn't look too bad now but in real life this blue is actually really, really dark. It almost looks like a Mercedes from far away. Um, it did grow on me a little bit, but still, I don't know what's happening here. Something has gone wrong. I don't know. I yeah. The, for me, last year, everyone hyped up the Alpha Tauri, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Well, I, I liked it, but it wasn't as hype as everyone else made it out to be. And then it was gone and made it worse. So for me, yeah, it, it's just it's not good. Look at that. I I way prefer the white. But yeah, for me. Uh, definitely not as bad as the Williams, but it goes on C tier. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like they could have done so much more of that livery. Like, you know, you see these two teams working with different paints, and then you've got Red Bull working a lot with their branding. Like, I just, I just don't know what Alpha Tauri is trying to do with that car. Like, it just looks, it doesn't look anything new. They're white did, and then they just, I don't know. They changed it. Anyways, on to Ferrari. Now, obviously, I'm a Charlotte Leclerc fan. I'm not going to lie. I quite like this car. 
um, in comparison to what everyone else is saying about it. it. It's nice, but again, Ferrari, once again, with delivery, they can do so much with that red and black, and they just don't for some reason. Yeah, I mean, for me, I know a lot of people are talking about how shit this gradient oil, that almost people are calling it like the oil paint job because it looks like there's just oil on the back of the car. For me, I don't mind that. The effect of it going from dark red to light red, I really like. I really do like it. My issue is with the rear wing, you've got a dark red rear wing with a black sponsor on it and in real life the dark red's even darker and you cannot see the sponsor not that we're going to see the sponsor anyway because mission window is banned from like 80 percent of the races but like i don't know why they didn't do like a white sponsor here so it's visible but it makes no sense maybe that's what they're thinking they're maybe thinking like oh well the sponsor is going to get removed anyway let's make it dark red or something i don't know uh obviously the big talking point is the lime green mission with no logo here it's not going to be on the car for 80 percent of the races but yeah i feel like they just made it lime green to get everyone talking i don't know what that's meant to be lime green for but it's not bad it's just not great either i think black would have looked better yeah i mean i i, I like the car uh i do like it I do think it's better than last year but then again last year it was like plain with no sponsor on it for like all the races so i don't know i can't really give my view we'll have to wait and see what this looks like without all the mission with no stuff on it but yeah i, I like it i just feel like they could have done so much better with the red and black but i don't think it's a bad livery at the same time i think there's just a few you know sponsor changes that they could have done uh so for me it's going in b tier i definitely don't think it's on the same level as merc at all um but i also don't think it's as bad as an alpha tower i think alpha tower missed the mark whereas ferrari hit that mark but just have quite a few issues uh next up haas now when if you saw my reaction on stream to this it was terrible i hated it uh honestly like i i did not know what i was looking at i didn't understand why i think it was a bit of shock because of the change of color now for me like i was saying before branding is a huge thing for me when it comes to liveries and logos and graphic design and all that stuff and i just don't understand where the red white and blue comes from like you've got Haas which is a grey black red team you know the NASCAR team is grey red and black and then you've got this Haas which is now white red and blue now ignoring the whole Russian stuff behind it you you're a you 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 literally I don't get it they that this company their colors are brown and green why are they making the Haas red white and blue i don't get it yes i know new owners are coming in but are the owners russian like i don't get why the car would benefit being red white and blue the main sponsor is in that color Haas is in that color i don't get it i don't get it I, I feel like it has something to do with russia being banned for four years um from sports may i don't know i have i have no clue like i just don't get why it's red white and blue when it has no relation to Haas, no relation to the sponsor. Um, anyways, that aside, the livery itself uh, has grown on me. I, I still don't know what's happening with this. The, the nose here, this looks fucking ugly. And it's so plain because it's got no sponsors, no sponsors, no sponsors, no sponsors. It's very plain. But it's grown on me. Uh, I probably would have given it like a two or three when it came out. Now it's like a three or four. Yeah, also the onboard looks really nice uh, with the, the flag around the rim here. Um, yeah, I wish they did a bit more, it's something like what uh, Red Bull do, like incorporating the Haas logo in the side pod. But yeah, I mean, it, it's grown on me, especially the side's grown on me. And uh, is it the back? The back doesn't look too bad either. For me, it's bearing on on C, I don't, I, I, C and B. I mean, it's not a terrible livery. But it's also the meaning behind it and the branding for me brings it down to a C. Uh, I do think it's better than... Oh, is it better than the Alpha Tauri? That's a tough one because for me, it's definitely missed the mark with the branding completely. Alpha Tauri at least has some sort of branding, but they also missed the mark as well. I, I, I don't know what route they're trying to go down with their car. In terms of the look of the livery, I think I prefer the Haas over the Alpha Tauri personally. I don't know what's happening with the side of the car. I think the front of the Alpha Tauri looks much better, much, much better. But the side and the back is, yeah, much better on the Haas. I don't know. You know, I, I can't decide between these two. I'm, I'm going to leave... Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Nah. All right, I've decided Alpha Terry is going to be higher than Haas. I think it's just got a bit more design, a bit more going for it. That probably helps because of their sponsors. But yeah, man, I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what either of these teams are doing with their, with the direction of the car, especially ours. I mean, it's nothing to do with their, their team or their, their sponsor at all, in my opinion. All right, moving on to McLaren. Now, obviously, McLaren, like Red Bull, very, very, very similar livery to last season i quite liked mclaren's uh livery last season obviously the same as this season but yeah it's obviously nothing fresh uh i do like the orange and the blue yeah i don't know if it's just because of the renders but the, the blue and the renders look 
looks very shiny. I really, really do like it. I can't remember. I feel like the, the rainbow is a bit more incorporated last season. But yeah, I, I do like the livery. I did like it last season. I like it again this season. Again, nothing fresh, but I'm going to look at the livery on a livery standpoint, not like, oh, it's been in the sport for two years, don't care type deal. And my biggest problem with the McLaren is this big empty space. I don't know why they could have done something cool here maybe bringing the blue down a bit or the rainbow or something a pattern i just don't know why this is so empty um i do in some ways like the halo but it's also very plain as well this is very plain yeah i mean i like it but i just feel like it's missing a bit it's missing something so yeah for me i'm going to be putting the mclaren uh, ahead of Ferrari, I do think it's much better than Ferrari. But yeah, I don't think it's on the same level as Merck. Merck's got a lot of design going for it. Um, and I just feel like the McLaren just misses the mark in terms of a design standpoint. But it's not a bad looking car. It looks nice, you know. Uh, same as last year. And uh, yeah, it's going to do its job out on track. You know, it looks like a fucking what McLaren should look like. All right, final team, Alfa Romeo. Now, they blew me away with their livery this season. So... Uh, I love it so much. D just the inverting the colors, uh, having the white more prominent than the red, it, it just looks so nice. Honestly, so clean. And it still matches that Alfa Romeo feel. You know, you look at that car and you see an Alfa Romeo. Oh my God, it's so clean. The white with the red logo, even the hint of green in there. It's so nice. Now, my only issue with this car, I've only got one issue with it. It's it's pretty much a perfect livery aside from this. Is It's it's quite plain around here. I feel like they could have had like a red stripe kind of like through the side. Yeah, other than that, I think it's a perfect livery for Alfa Romeo. Uh, yeah, here. Like, I feel like they could have a stripe coming down here and then through. I don't know. But other than that, yeah, it's almost a perfect livery. Uh, also, the halo, uh, the onboard looks the exact same as last season pretty much. But yeah, almost a perfect livery, I feel, for Alfa Romeo. You know, nice, clean white with the red. Hint of green. Perfect placing of the of sponsors and logos so nice and that's why for me it is also an s tier but where does it go for me i do think it's better than the the red bull this season just because of that freshness like i was talking about before with these three liveries although i the red bull for me probably my favorite livery of all time from technical standpoint favorite standpoint you just look at the red bull and it's so dominant but obviously with the freshness of these three liveries they've killed it this season uh and i'm also going to put the alfa romeo above the aston martin i think uh although i love the green of the aston martin i just feel like the alfa romeo has bit more of a design a uh, bit of design to it uh, but for me best livery of the season is the alpine uh, i think they absolutely killed it you know spot on with the branding nice pearlescent blue killed it with the design it ticks absolutely every single box yeah we got four liveries in s tier but that is because all four of them i just feel i just next level liveries for me like they would all be considered best liveries of all time in formula one from what i've seen they all do the perfect job of matching that branding you know you see that you know it's a red bull you see that you know it's an alfa romeo now and it's so clean aston martin coming the sport nice dark green it looks so nice glossy i love it and then alpine again new brand uh, i haven't re didn't really know what alpine's branding was before they've entered f1 but they're trying to set that brand and it, it's just it's so nice that it also matching the french feel uh then obviously in a tier we've got uh mercedes i think fantastic livery uh they just missed a mark on a few things they could have done a few things better uh again b uh the b tier not bad liveries but not fantastic either like they're both good looking liveries um i think the mclaren is quite a bit better than ferrari but I'd, I'd, they're both in the same tier i mean the ferrari looks nice the mclaren looks nice they both could have just had things done to them which could be make them much more improved c i mean yeah i'm let down obviously i don't understand the direction that they were heading with these liveries uh i mean there's a couple of redeeming qualities about them but for the most part i really really don't like aspects on both of them and then d we've obviously got uh the williams now i there's nothing really redeeming about this at all i mean there's the front wing and maybe the onboard but even then it, it's pushing it like the, even that's average you know and and I just don't see what they were doing with this livery. And for me, it's, it's the worst livery on the grid. All right, that's going to do it for my 2021 Formula 1 livery tier list. Now, I've never done something like this on stream before. It's my second ever pre-recorded video that's not from my stream. The other one being my setup tour. Uh, but yeah, my first time ever doing like an opinion-based discussion video. So yeah, please let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my tier list and uh, your opinion on the liveries themselves and where you'd place them uh, on a tier list if you, if you were to do one. But yeah, I absolutely love doing discussion and opinion videos. I've been doing it much more on my stream lately and I, I'll definitely be doing more videos like this, whether it's Formula 1 or not. Yeah, doing tier lists. I love it. I love discussing 
discussing stuff and and giving my opinion so yeah, depending on how the video goes uh most likely there'll be more more stuff like this on the youtube channel uh but yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for some more videos and yeah please let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the tier list uh but yeah that's gonna do it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye I got it so bad I got it bad for you You give me good love You like a dream come true They say it won't last They say you wild and